So this is the setup. Basically, we have the plate that goes over the shaft. In this case, a one inch diameter shaft. A couple of bolt holes for the connecting uh, rods. Another plate with a hole that matches the outside diameter of your strut bearing so that it can pass through the hole. In my case, that's an inch and three eighths. <clears throat> And then a couple of connecting rods and bolts <clears throat> to, to draw the system together. So that's how we took the, uh, <clears throat> almost forgot one important part, and that's the collets. <clears throat> so the collets slip over the shaft. It won't pass through this way, but it'll pass through this way. So that it can push the bearing through and it's sized to just perfectly match uh, the diameter of the old strut bearing <clears throat> and what's very critical when you look at a strut bearing it's got a rubber insert <clears throat> inside of a brass pipe <clears throat> and so the collets have to touch that brass pipe. It's not enough for it to just press against the rubber inside. It has to touch and press on the uh, metal part of the bearing. So these are custom, custom made, very precision so that they match. Now when we go to press the new bearing on, <clears throat> uh, we need, we're going to use one more plate. <clears throat> this last one here and this one will also be useful for removing the prop in the future uh, this year I took the prop off a little bit differently but next time I'll use the same setup <clears throat> but I'll use this to basically push up against the shaft and this plate to be positioned right behind the prop and then draw the two together to pop the shaft off, or the propeller off the propeller shaft well, good morning. It's uh, Saturday morning uh, in March. We're getting ready to replace the strut bearing on our 1998 O'Day 322. Uh, bought it last, late last summer. And uh, we're going to replace the strut bearing today. It's got a bit of play in it. Um, so we've looked at different options on how to replace the strut bearing. Certainly one option is to pull the whole propeller shaft out of the boat, um, but that involves removing the, uh, the uh, shaft coupling. Um, and I didn't really want to do that this year, so we're going to uh, use a tool that my brother-in-law Tim made at his machine shop. Um, basically it involves a, a plate with a slot in it that slips over the shaft. This is a one inch propeller shaft. <coughs> It's a four inch diameter circle with a couple of bolt holes on the outer edge and the one inch slot uh, in the middle. A couple of uh, sections of all thread to join the two plates together. In this case we put an extension on it and a, uh, and a hex head bolt on the other end for tightening. The plate on this end is just a round circle, four inches, with a hole in the middle the outer diameter of the bearing that we're going to push out, which in this case is an inch and three eighths. <clears throat> um, so previously I removed the propeller. I removed the set screws out of the uh, out of the strut that, that press against the strut bearing. And uh, this is what the setup looks like when it's ready to start start the removal process and essentially all we have to do is tighten these bolts a little bit on each side over and over and over again and this collet right here were machined to fit over the shaft one inch ID and to just press come to the outside edge of the bearing which is an inch and three eighths OD and so the collets will be pulled through pushed through and while they tighten it'll push the bearing right out of the strut it'll come out the back side here 
That's the theory, and we're gonna try it here shortly. One more thing I'm going to do is in order to make sure that this plate is perfectly lined up because the old bearing has to come out that hole I'm going to use the new bearing as a spacer I'm just going to bit lightly slip it in there Lightly slide that in so that it holds the plate in exactly the right spot so that the old bearing can come out and as it starts to come out I'll pull this out of the hole. So that's the setup and then we'll uh, put a couple of wrenches on these nuts here to hold them in place, get a socket and start tightening this to push the bearing out. <coughs> You can see the old the old bearing is being pushed through the strut by the collets. I'm using very little force. Very little force at all. To continue to push that strut bearing out of the strut. It's so little force that the nuts won't even stay tight. I take this tape off it's holding the collets together but for right now you can just leave those on there I think bearing continues to be pushed out of the strut is out. 
Now all we have to do is take the gear off, remove the collet, and press the new bearing in place. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to show you putting the uh, bearing back in. I did make one calculation error, um, and that was that the the plate that would push the bearing back on, the hole's big enough so that the bearing could actually pass through it, if you remember. So we had to kind of offset it a little bit, which, you know, you had to be very careful pushing that bearing back in so that you tried to keep it as even as possible. It looks like it's in there very flush. It's maybe slightly pressed in farther on one side, but the, the shaft seems to be in good shape. <clears throat> I can rotate the shaft easily. There isn't any play in it whatsoever. And that's what we were looking for. So that's the finished product. The new bearing is in place. And the final steps are to uh, reset. <clears throat> two set screws that go back in to hold that bearing in place. Even though it's a press fit, the, bear, the uh, set screws keep it from moving. And then we'll reinstall the prop, and we'll consider this job well done. <clears throat> All right, so the prop is on. The uh, prop spins freely. The strut bearing is very tight, and the wobble in the, in the strut, set screws are in. And she is uh, just about ready to put in the water. So great job. Thanks to my brother-in-law, Tim, for all his efforts in, in uh, manufacturing our little strut removal tool. It's gonna make uh, maintenance in the future much easier. With the prop puller, we won't have to struggle to get the prop off in the future. And next year, maybe we'll try replacing the shaft, or at least taking the shaft out, we'll see. So the job is complete. And we've got a little uh, exterior cleanup to do on the hull but we are mechanically ready to put in the water.